Hello friends, and welcome to Riptide. This map happens to be my second favorite in Hardline, and I say second just because my natural favorite is of course Grow House. Yeah, it's, it's called Grow House, and the evolution on it is literally blazing marijuana. Yet again, allow me to repeat, literally, not figuratively, literally lighting a bunch of weed on fire to create a massive cloud of smoke. That is the evolution on Grow House. I, I can't wait to show you the footage, but unfortunately at this point in time, I'm not allowed to. But anyways, let's chit chat about Riptide and what the map has to offer. Now, it's pretty obvious where the map is set, but for those of you that can't quite guess, it's basically a Florida drug dealer's paradise crib, you know, or an extremely expensive bachelor pad, depending on whether or not the owner happens to deal narcotics, obviously, but I don't know, maybe it's Rick Ross's house and there's a bunch of pears in the fridge, but regardless of what exactly this house is all about, I think Riptide is a wonderful map, and here's a few reasons why. Now I think the most compelling reason that the map is so much fun is that it's versatile and you can play it however you would like to. Now what I mean is, if you want to fool around indoors the entire time, having some CQB fun blowing everyone's head off with something like the K-10 or the shotguns, you can easily do that the entire round. But at the same time, if you want to lurk around the hedges and smaller exterior cover with your assault rifle that pretty well dominates everything else, you're free to do that as well. So no matter what your play style, whether you're all about dat CQB or dat medium range engagement, or even a recon that just wants to dust off the old Tech 9 and go ham, there's something for everyone on this map. And the second reason that it's so much fun is that there is barely any sand. I don't know how many of you guys hate Silk Road, but it's not silky or roady or sandy, like at all, which is terrific. However, I must warn you that much like every Battlefield game before this one, you are definitely going to encounter people above you that may as well have My Specialty is Roofing tattooed on their forehead. I mean, it's definitely not a secret that in any sort of infantry combat situation, height is undoubtedly an advantage, but in this case, it's extremely advantageous just because of the objective placement, and I think you've already picked up on it. But in case you haven't, from this here rooftop, I have a clear line of sight to both of the initial objective drop-off points of the enemy. So if some rando on the other team actually gets the duffel bag full of cash and starts to make a run for it, I can pick him off like a deer in an open field, even if my accuracy is pretty mediocre. And it doesn't take me very long to move from one corner of the rooftop to the other, so I will pretty well always have a clean shot either way. And in addition to that, this is the real kicker by the way, the guy carrying the loot basically has a 3D placement tracker on him, so I can see him in advance which direction he's moving so I'll be immediately prepared to blow his head off with my golden AK. So what I'm telling you is that rooftop control is absolutely critical for this map because not only can you absolutely slay half of the enemy team by yourself, but the rooftop makes a crucial difference in controlling the routes of escape for the package carriers. Now, I'm not trying to be that guy because I think that guy is terrible. You guys all know that guy very well because that guy is so notoriously awful, but I'm telling you, rooftop cheese is still a thing. I'm just preparing you ahead of time so that you can hit the ground running once the game comes out. I'm preparing you for rooftop cheese. That's really all that I'm doing. But one thing I must say about Riptide is that it's the same as every other map in Hardline in one specific respect. It is always a wonderful plan to light everything on fire, whether it's the dude on the rooftop, or the guy on the other side of the bathroom wall with a shotgun, or the guy next to the hedge outside. Molotovs and incendiaries are your absolute best friend. And allow me to emphasize the point, once again, that fire goes through walls, so using that to your advantage is probably an intelligent decision. Now as for playing as the criminals and stealing the package, it was clear to me that using the vehicles at your disposal was the absolute best idea. And believe it or not, I actually think that these large armored excursion looking vehicles that basically are the size of shipping containers and the SUV are the most valuable. Now, the reason that I say that is that they are beefy and bulletproof, which makes them perfect for transporting the cash to the drop point. These vehicles are also ideal because there seem to be a much higher frequency of operators with assault rifles and enforcers with shotguns on Riptide with a much lower frequency of mechanics with grenade launchers that can blow up your transport vehicles. Now, I'm not saying that nobody plays mechanic on this map, but it's not like Hotwire, where everyone in their adopted Asian extended family has a 320 or an RPG ready to light you up like a stogie. So, prioritize your escape around these bulletproof vehicles for the greatest chance of success. And I hate to say it, but on the other side of the coin, if you're playing as a cop, really all you need to do is grab an AR and sit on the roof. I mean, I know we've already covered this, but it's not like it's any more complicated than that. 
Like seriously, most criminals are either too stupid to realize that you're waiting up there for them, or it will simply be too difficult logistically for them to procure an armored transport to get to the cash evac, as I call it. Yeah, not cash evac, cash evac. You, you see what I, what? Never mind. So grab your AR, preferably an M16 or an M416. A gold AK is too if you're trying to fit the whole drug lord, narcotics dealing, Rick Ross, pears theme. And wait for the criminals to present themselves on a silver platter while your specialty is roofing on that rooftop. It's actually pretty simple. And I think that about covers it. That's like all that I have to say about Riptide Heights. So welcome to Miami, you silly bitch.